How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review on the channel. Yes, we've got more players to review for you guys. Brand new promo dropped the day, including the striker that you do see right there. We've got Hallett at striker. We've got Chiesa in there as well. We've got the brand new player of the month, Singar. Now, Sangar actually strong links to Haller as well. If um, you ever want to actually do that, you see that strong link there? Looks nice and saucy. But uh, today's review is going to be on the main man himself, and that is Sebastian Haller, the former West Hammer United striker. Didn't really hit it off in the Premier League and then signed for Ajax and has got this team of the tournaments, well, team of the group stage cards. So 88 rated. He's had a massive upgrade, by the way, because he went from 80 to 88. The, the upgrade is insane. The price right now, 62,000 on the uh, PlayStation, 63,000 on the Xbox. The prices by the time I do finish this, that's why you see in the corner, might have changed by now. So uh, it is what it is when you see what it is when it is on the, the, the channel. Something like that. But guys, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do. You bring that type, you smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Get involved in the discussion. Thoughts on Halle and get who you want to review next uh, in the comments as well. Now, as for an upgrade, this guy, look, I mean, just look at that. It's monstrous. How tall is he as well? 6'4? Oh, 6'3. Very close to that. Yeah, he's had a. Um, dude, plus 10. No, no. Nah. Plus 19 pace. Plus 10 dribbling, it was. Even the shooting, plus 9, plus 10 passing, plus 8 physicality. Unbelievable scenes, boys. That's like a 60k, like, SBC. That's not even that bad whatsoever. In terms of pace, we got the acceleration 81, the sprint speed 88. That should be sufficient enough with the acceleration on this game if he's going to play as a target man. Now, I want to test him to his limits. I want to try him with an engine cam star to see how good he feels on the ball. Now, what am I expecting? I'm expecting him not to feel good on the ball. And as you can see, I haven't played a game yet. So uh, we'll see what he's like in game. Shooting wise, nigh on perfect with his card. Uh, four star weak foot as well. Fantastic. 90 second position, 90 finishing, and 90 shot power. You could boost that. You could max it out. But that should be good enough for this stage in the game. Should you want to max it out further down the line? Hunter, marksman, finisher, dead eye. You name it. Could improve that. 91 volleys, 94 penalties as well. Passing. It doesn't have the bare minimum for me for strikers. Normally it's uh, added curve as well. So it's vision, short pass, curve. He's got the vision, he's got the short pass. Will the curve matter? Hey, we'll find out in game. In terms of dribbling, he's got 84 agility, 80 balance, plus 10 on that as well. 87 reactions, 86 ball control, 83 dribbling, plus 10. And uh, 90 composure, which should be huge for this man. Uh, he does have 90 jump, and it'll be interesting to see if he's got the power headed trait. Uh, he is 6 foot 3 with 92 head and accuracy as well. Great stammer 86, strength is sensation 94, and the aggression is 82 as well. He does have the power header trick. You'll love to see it. Now, the formation I'm going to play today, it's going to be a 4 2 3 Warner. I'm not the best at it, but hey, we're going to give it a bash anyways. We're going to go into champs. We're going to see what Haller, what Chiesa, what Sengar has to offer. And there'll be separate reviews of each of them up on the channel. Should get two of them up tonight. And um, yeah, the reviews will keep coming. Make sure you let me know who you do want to review in the comment section. Without any further ado, let's see what Haller has about him. Oh, he's done well, man. Like, well, wide. Right? Back inside. I think I've read this, you know. Oh, I haven't. Rashford. That's a big challenge. Come on, boys. Here's a... I think Haller's actually... He's, he plays on the last man quite a bit, doesn't he? Oh, my God. I want, I, I want to see what he's like in the spot. Dude, he's done well. Finesse. Since when's Haller been able to do that? Ah, that is broken. 10 out of 10. That was un-bloody believable, mate. He's never been able to do that in 21 years. And I don't even know how old he is. That is utterly insane. Normal Halle would never score from there, by the way, boys. Impossible. I, I, well, unless you green Simon, that's kind of possible in this game. But wow, man. Great, great touch. Cut inside and then the finesse of absolute dreams. And I've got Chiesa in here. Again. That was nice. And then the slow bit's there, right? It's always going to be slow anyways. That's actually a good ball. Oh, why are they snapping it? I, should, I didn't expect it to go through to Kaka. That's why. I tried to challenge the player before I even lost possession. If I can bend that. Nice, nice. There is. Holla ball roll pass. Oh, it's all right. Oh, good pass. See what I mean? Finesse from there. No! <laughs> Dude, I've got tears in my eyes. That should not be happening. Dude, like, you see that? He should not be scoring from there, boys. I'm not even timing these. Oh my god. He's dropping in a weirdly deep areas. 
But my god, I don't care if he's scoring like that. And again, he's got in front of his man here. He just knows where to place himself. That's a good pass as well. First time! Oh, GG's. GG, no re. Oh, and that's from Haller as well. Getting the ball in front of his man, playing it back to Tonali, through ball to Kake. This is wondrous stuff. That's not a foul either, ref. Zips it. Haller, over the top. That's a great pass as well. First time. Oh, I tried it, man. I could have took a couple of touches and just passed it beyond the keeper. But hey, that's a great first time effort. Good passes. You see how hot? I, I swear, hot. Holla, holla jump there, right? And he jumped about 18 foot. But like, I'm seeing things from Holla I've never seen from like David Trezeguet in his prime. What is. When was the last time you seen him do a bicycle kick on FIFA? Never. Insane. He just passes it. See what I mean? Sangar. Through the eye of a bloody needle. Look at that. And he will go again. It's Kakar. I'm watching Haller in the middle. Because I think I can get that into him. On oh, the molly shot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm liking this card, mate. He's like an old fashioned number nine. I can just blast him in from anywhere. Even the court. Oh. Over there. It's actually a really good pass in the keys, eh? He's got the outside. Outside. Cross. Hall is coming in! Oh man! He was attacking that like a steam train! Okay, there. And again. And again. Oh, the first time. First time passes the dreams. Hall has done well as well! Kiesa, chip him! Get in! That'll do. Oh god. Kiesa again. I tried it. Oh, we're there. It's actually gonna work again. Haller? I like it. I like what he's offering. The thing is that Kaka is like bursting beyond Haller every time. We're there. Every time. I think I can get Kiesa back. No, no. He's bursting beyond them every time, but it's working. We're there. Haller! Oh! I thought he missed! I thought I was a bit audacious for even trying it, but the power on the Scorpion was that much. The Keeper could only power it against the post. Look, if it shows this replay, mate. Oh, that's like a headshot in Call of Duty. There's no getting by that. Dude, this card's broken. When it does come down to shooting, I don't think he misses. And when he does miss, it still goes in. As evidence in that goal right there. That is unbelievable scenes. I'm very impressed by this, Arla. There. Oh my god, on the volley. I have to. He tried it with the outside of his left. It's just different. First time. Very nice layoff. Kaka! Right, gears up. This is, this is a stand up, mate. He stands it up. He's 52 foot tall as well. This card is Frankenstein. They've created a monster, mate. They've created an absolute monster. I need, I need movement, boys. I need to see more movement. Hello, over the top. Oh my god, he's actually done it as well. Here's a. Oh, I couldn't get there. Hollis won the ball back, but it went backwards. Fresh legs and everything. Done well. How wide? And now. Burst onto it. I think I've got the cross. Oh my god! Honestly, how is this guy missing those chances? So there we have it, and lads. That was a Sebastian Haller. I've got to say, just sweet impressed. I think that means I am impressed. I was blown away by this card. I didn't expect Haller to offer that, what he did in game. I, I really, really didn't. We'll get a quick uh, price check for you guys right now. Accurate price. Uh, he's only went up 1k, and that was in the PlayStation 63 on both consoles as of right now. Um, what's a player? I, I didn't expect this. I I, <laughs> I could say this all, all, all day long. I just, wow, you know what I'm saying? I, I did not expect his level of performance, his level of finishes, and what he brought to the table. It was just quite unique. He even had a scorpion kick that went at 99.92 miles an hour, and nearly broke the keeper's hands and still went in the net. Yes, he missed, but he scored, you know what I'm saying? I've never had a striker with that kind of finishing ability that even when you don't hit it right, it normally ends up in the back of the net. I had some finesses in those games where I thought, I'm not going to score from this, I'm just testing his kind of range and his abilities and how his shots kind of look at from this range. And they just sail into the top of the bloody net. He doesn't even have the finesse shot trait. But what he was providing in game, it felt like he did have the finesse shot trades. Utterly sensational. I'm very surprised. You would have seen the intro of this video. I wasn't exactly like, I'm going to use Salah. I'm going to be excited. I'm going to enjoy this. He's going to be fluid. He's going to be this, that, and the other. I mean, 
I was going to adapt my game style. I was always going to adapt it. But even then, I didn't really have to adapt it too, too much. Obviously, playing the 4 2 3 one, don't like it. I lost the final match. But um, it is what it is. I really, really enjoyed this Sebastian Halloween. And I, I never thought at the start of this review that I'd be seeing that. So, um, yeah, just goes to show, never judge a book uh, by its cover. But even the cover of this card looks sensational. Stat-wise, the layout's utterly brilliant. And, uh, wow, he... he uh, he packs a punch in Game Boys, that is to say the least. Overall, the pros and cons, I mean, you've got the movements. His movement's fantastic. Sometimes as well, despite the high-medium work rates, he was swapping positions with Kaka, who also has high-medium work rates. So I don't know what triggered that, but sometimes he just knew where to stand on the pitch. He'd let the cam run beyond him, and then he'd just like, kind of hold his position instead of two players occupying one spot. He had the knowledge to kind of just occupy the free spot, whether that be the strike, like, line, like, you know that defensive line, like, to break through, the getting behind kind of line, whether it be the, the freedom in that spot, if someone else was occupying that, he dropped back into the space to receive the ball in that area. Really, really liked that. What I didn't like about the card, you can't really speed dribble the card. I think when you want to kind of position yourself to shoot or even take it past the player, You've got to slow it down. You've got to take it to kind of walking pace. I think that is more when his dribbling is a little bit better. It's a little bit more in control. Because the second you start to accelerate when you're trying to dribble, it's like he turns into Bambi on ice. The legs start going everywhere, mate. He's not in control of anything. I don't know if he's in control, control of his bodily fluids, but uh, he's definitely not in control of his legs. By any which may shame, uh, shame in a form. But uh, yeah, free star skills, of course. Um, it does limit the card, so you've got to look at that. And think, you know what, it kind of does limit the card. If you had a stop and turn in there as well, you'd be so much more deadly. So again, that does limit the card, that is a corner. So the only two cons for me were the lack of fast dribble, or the fluid dribble, or kind of in control speed dribble, that is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, but again, slow it down, and then adapt your game style, and you'll reap the rewards with this Sebastian Haller. Uh, in terms of pros, it's got the movement, the finishing, the, the, the first touch as well, which was... Utterly brilliant at times. I mean, he can control a penny dropping from the Empire State Building on his little toe. It was incredible at times. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's finishing. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, his power overall, strength, aggression, height, presence, aerial dominance. This guy is as powerful as they come in this game. He's almost like a battering ram. He's like a steam train. Uh, he's very hard to stop, especially if he's running for a header or anything like that. You need to position your defender Perfectly. Otherwise, it is all she rules. And of course, the heading as well. As for the similar players, we'll get into that right now. Now we'll look at some uh, kind of comparable players. Now I'm believing, I, I believe the Premier League actually has a comparable player. And I, I want to kind of touch on that as well. Uh, it's not Harry Kane. It's not Harry Kane. In terms of like aerialness, aerialness, that doesn't even make sense. But aerial dominance, it's more like uh, uh, Lukaku, Lewandowski, Hall and that kind of player. But... Um, it, was, it felt a little bit different at times as well. Almost like, you know when Ivan Tony came out at the start of the year? Kind of felt like an Ivan Tony at the start of the year. For me, this Ivan Tony was brilliant. At times, at the start of the year, especially when he came out, he was that effective in that stage of the game that he was good at that stage of the game. And I think that's the exact same right now with this Sebastian Hallen. I really, really do. And then if you look at like Ligue 1, comparable... I'm, I'm going to move this to striker, boys, because putting the wingers in there as well. Comparable strikers in League 1. Maybe Jonathan Davids? I mean, he, he doesn't feel like an Mbappe or anything like that. And he's literally miles taller than Jonathan David as well. But as finishing comes, he's definitely up there. He's way better, actually, than Jonathan Davids. I mean, even if you compare him to, to inform Mbappe's finishing stats. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, who is he actually similar to, then? Delo? Well, Delos, I mean, he's not even a high... Basically, this league's full of dwarfs, mate. Oh, six for two, Yilmaz. But he's way better than that Yilmaz guard. Way, way, way better. Uh, Serie A. Guaranteed there's someone similar in Serie A in mobile. Oh, this guy. Yeah, Simeone. He's actually... You know Simeone is on this game, right? How he was... Um, not many people looked at Simeone and thought, you know what? He's going to be good. I'm getting that vibe with this man. But not with Simeone, of course, uh, with Haller, because I looked at Haller and I thought, similar to Simeone. I mean, he's only got three star, three star. Who cares? He can put the ball in the back of the net at will. And I truly believe as well, this man can do the exact same. So it's utterly unbelievable what he can do in certain occasions. 
and his finishing was nigh on incredible. Uh, let's get in the overall ratings then, boys. For me, 9.1 for Sebastian Haller. What a card, what a player, and some performances he put in tonight. Um, I'm definitely going to use him more in the future as well. He's got some good links. I mean, I mean the, the main ones will be the David Neres, the Gravenberg, the Ajax links. But of course, I mean, even in today, you've got this man, Sangar. Of course, was really impressive as well. So you've got that kind of Ivory Coast links as well. If Pepe gets a card in the future, the Arsenal uh, winger, you could link him into him. There's plenty of talented Ivory Coast uh, players on this game. If we just have a look, sorry, I haven't actually had a look at the Ivory Coast Nation for some time. I couldn't even scroll across there, boys. I hope I'm in the right area. Otherwise, I'll look like a fool. Wait, H-I. Oh, dude, I'm a fool. H -I. Dude, I had to do the alphabet, boys. Yeah, Drogba. Oh, Kessie as well. Fofana, Cornet. You got some good players coming through, boys. Is Zaha. You know fine well Zaha's getting a special card this year. Uh, Pepe most likely will get a special card at some point. Merry Eric Bailly. Um, I don't know how well these boys are doing this year. Gabamin. Always a great starter card, that Gabamin. Sangar does have special cards. And then uh, if any Silvers get cards as well. I mean, is any of these lads doing anything this year? Kuasi? Dude, I, I just I just like this, man. I, I like this card. I'm really, really surprised. As far as the value for coins goes, boys, I'm going to tell you right now, he is getting a 9.8 for myself. I reckon at the price, 63,000 coins on the Xbox and PlayStation. Yes, you can get players for cheaper in different leagues that may fill your needs uh, chemistry-wise. Be a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know if they'll be as effective as Sebastian Haller especially for that price. If it was on the market, would it be cheaper? Potentially, I mean, who knows? Uh, most likely, you know the way the market goes this year, it's only the high, high rate of players that stay high, high value price in coins, whereas everyone else is about discard. So who knows what he would have been price-wise on the market, but I've got to say as an SBC, this card is fantastic. So 9.8 value for coins, and that's it, the enjoyments. It will be an 8.6, but it's, it's, it's effective. I think he's less enjoyable than he does have ability because his ability makes him effective in game, but he's not exciting. He is when he scores those goals. Bloody hell, I nearly jumped off my chair. But three star skills, not great at dribbling in terms of like speed dribbling. Uh, and it does limit the card. It does limit the card and doesn't make him as fun as potentially it may be. But that's, that's going to be our review of Sebastian Haller. I'm glad I've been not proven wrong. I was expecting this guy to be okay. Not this good, not this good. He actually really surprised me tonight. And I'm actually pleased that cards still do this on this game. Because if I reviewed everyone and I just looked at the card and thought, you know what, I know exactly what this card's going to be. It would get boring. I probably wouldn't do reviews if I just looked at the card and think, yeah, he could be good. He, he looks okay. Yeah, he's about average. I, I, I'd be bored of the game. If I use the card and I'm impressed, that's what gives you the excitement in the game where you're kind of surprised that the card is that good in certain areas of the pitch. And that is what I enjoy about FIFA. Adapting my game styles, trying different players. I just love it, man. I love making content for you guys as well. And if you guys have enjoyed this review of Sebastian Haller, make sure you drop a like. And a brand new promo came out tonight. And uh, you're going to see plenty of content from myself. I'm eager to, to do way more content. We're doing it live now as well. You're still seeing all the shebang. You know what I'm saying? The ratings, the pros, the cons during the gameplay. You've seen it all. And uh, I'm going to put as much effort in as possible to get as many reviews out as possible for you guys. But thank you very much for watching the first review of Team of... The tournament it says, but it's actually team of the group stage, right? We have the change it. Team of the tournament. Yes, team of the tournament anyways. Anyways, lads, we're going to end it for this review. The first one of tonight. Uh, I don't know if there'll be another one tonight. Potentially, potentially. Could drop Kiesa. If you want to see him, make sure you let me know in the comments. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a great day today. Sorry for no upload yesterday. It was one of those days where... It just passed me by. Unfortunately, I didn't have a great day. But thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one.